we have seen all the negative impacts of the multipurpose projects. That's the reason why the multipurpose projects have been brought into larger scrutiny. So now, as the situation is, we need to save water. That's for must and mandatory what we have discussed in the initial introduction of the lesson. So in that process of having this understanding, now it is must and mandatory to save. So this alternative of multipurpose project is not proved to be so successful. So what is the next viable alternative? Most of the people in India have started to trust on rain harvesting, rain water harvesting. Rain water harvesting. What is this rain water harvesting? Rain harvesting or rain water harvesting is the most viable means or the best alternative for the so called multi purpose projects negative impacts. Here you do not find any kind of negative impacts coming into the scene or the picture. So what is this actually? But before going to this one, let us try to find out the traces of the rain water harvesting system. In India, in India, the earlier generations of people have to be accepted that they are having wide understanding of the nature far better than us. That is the reason why they have always maintained the ecological balance. They always have dug the tanks, the canals and filled the tanks and canals with the rainwater, with the flood water. And when we have any mountain streams, on the mountain hilly regions, when there is a flood like situation or when there is a heavy rainfall situation, they always had diversions on a mountain when the water flow is going like this. If it is going with a heavy speed, they used to divert the water flow so that the speed will be reduced. These diversions are called kuls or guls. These guls or kuls have contributed large to maintain the ecological balance. The tanks, the underground layers of the water will be filled with the rain water which has been filled in the tanks which slowly gets evaporated into the underground water layers. So they always maintained the ecological balance with the foresightedness. Now understanding what is the rain water harvesting system. On the top of a house, which are having little bit slided so that the water flow will be slided and then they have a connection of the tank which is built in the courtyard from the top of the roof of the house to the courtyard they have a pipeline connection. So through this pipeline connection, the water which is being dropped on the top of the house will be collected at the corner of the house opening and from there a pipeline will carry the entire water downwards into the courtyard where the tankas are built or the tanks are built. Tanks in the olden days known as tankas. These tankas will collect the entire water and preserve it in the underground waters. These tankas are actually do not collect the first showers of rains which rain in that particular part because they feel and they believe truly that the first rains are always impure. They may have some impurities mixed in that. So after they are sure that the first showers have gone from the next showers, they collect the water and they preserve it under the Tankas. The other specialty of the tankas is that the tankas are aside the tankas, uh, the underground rooms are built to save themselves from the extreme heat of that particular place like Rajasthan. So they are having two benefits. One is they are saving the underground water layers. The second one is they are also saving themselves from the extreme heat of the sun or the summer 
in the Rajasthan like states. Now let us know about the dimensions of tankas. Tankas are actually having a length of depth of 6.2 meters and a wide of 4.27 well in the width of the width is 2.24 meters. So in this it is a well planned structure 62 meters length then the breadth 4.27 meters and the wide of that is 2.24 meters so that you can collect the entire water and once the water has been the rains have been passed away and the water reserves are becoming less then definitely they would start to use the water which is preserved in the tankas and this is the most fresh water what they can get and the sad news is that in many of the places in Rajasthan the use of roof water tank saving system has becoming declined because the perennial rivers the perennial canals which are continuously supplying water for them has made them to decline this practice but not in all parts in some parts they have seriously used this one even though we have the perennial canals those who do not like the tap water taste started to use this water purposefully and save the ecological system and it is not only in Rajasthan we find it in many parts of Mysore, Karnataka and many other parts of Tamil Nadu also. For example, what is the larger benefit that we get if every household starts to use this uh, rain water or roof water saving system? What is the larger scale benefit? When, because in the introduction of this topic, we mentioned that it is a viable alternative for a multi-purpose project. A multi-purpose project can provide water for huge hectares of lands together, lakhs of hectares of land water can be provided. Then how can this be a viable alternative for that? A small example will definitely justify this one. If you take a place where we have for 1000 millimeters of land, 80% of it is collected and 10% is being saved resulting in 50,000 liters for every household 